the strength of an organization. And today we're doing liquidity. Liquidity is very important to any organization, whether it's a for-profit organization or a non-profit organization. In this section, we're going to learn how the current ratios, as well as the quick ratios, which are the liquidity ratios um, that assess the position of the company from uh, being able to meet the short-term financial position. In this session, I'm going to show you using two practical companies in the United States. These are two publicly traded companies that are in the home improvement industry, Home Depot and Lowe's. Home Depot in 2017 had about $100 billion in sales. Lowe's had about $68 billion in revenue. That after we compute the, their current ratios, or we compute their, their, their liquidity ratios, we are also going to finally compare these ratios to the industry ratios and then see which company is better than the other or which company is closer to the industry ratios. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the actual computation of the current ratios. Here are the two formulas that we'll be looking at. The current ratio is the calculation that we divide the current assets, we divide it by the current liabilities. And in the quick ratio, we subtract inventory from the current assets and then divide by the current liability. So let's look at an example of a real company, Home Depot. Now you can see here that this is um, the asset side of the balance sheet of Home Depot. And these financials, see Home Depot prepares the financial statements of the prior year in January. So for 2016, the financial ratios were prepared or released uh, on January 29th. And, uh, and then for 2017, they were released on January 28th of 2018. So, um, and if you look at uh, the SEC filing, as well as um, uh, Form 10-K, the, the current or the most recent data is always on the left, okay? So I had to make sure I labeled this so that you, you don't get confused. So 2017, the current assets that we're looking at to use in our calculation is this number right here, 18 billion 933 million. And then for 2016, is the 17 billion 724 million dollars. Okay. Now Home Depot is a hundred million dollar company, an hundred billion dollar company. In 2017, Home Depot's revenue was about um, about a hundred billion dollars, and then in 2016 uh, was about nine, 94 billion dollars. So these are huge companies that are the, you know, the company that is doing very well. Um, and this is the liability side. And notice that I did not capture the whole uh, liabilities and stockholders equity side of the balance sheet because it's too long. So I only captured the current liability section. And here, the numbers that we're gonna be using are, for 2017, it's gonna be 16 billion, 194 million. And if for 2016, it would be a 14 billion, 133 million. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and look at how the calculations would look like. So the current ask, the current ratio would be for 2016, it's a 1.25. And if for 2017, it's 1.17. Now these two numbers, you can see that... Uh, the higher the number, the better your current ratio is. It basically says that you have uh, um, more current assets available to take care of your, your current liabilities. Um, in simpler terms, would say that for 2016, Home Depot's current assets were 25% higher than current liabilities. It basically says, it means that if you liquidated your current assets, 
you'd be able to pay and, and, and take care of all your current liabilities. In 2017, this number dropped a little bit. It's 1.17. Now, when something like that happens, when your current ratio drops, um, there has to be an explanation. Now, what I did was I went and looked at um, the changes in the current assets and current liabilities. And, 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 I, and I already did some quick calculations here. I looked at by how much did our current assets increase. And I noticed that the current assets here increased from uh, 2016 to 2017. They increased by roughly 7%. But then when I looked at the current liabilities, the current liabilities increased from 14.133 billion to 16.194 billion. That was a roughly 15% increase. So our current liabilities increased at a higher percentage or higher proportion than our current assets. That's what led to the, 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 the current ratio for 2017 to be lower than 2016. Now, these numbers aren't that bad, okay? Because as long as you have your current ratios higher than one, the company is doing well, okay? Next, let's look at the quick ratio, which is the second liquidity ratio that we look at. And this is the ratio where we subtract our inventory from the current asset. Why do we do that? Well, the reason is simple. Inventory is the farthest from becoming cash out of your current assets. In other words, the least liquid asset on your books, on your current assets, is your inventory. And therefore, we want to take out that inventory because for you to convert your inventory to cash, you have to first of all sell that inventory. Then after selling, if you sell uh, on account, it becomes accounts receivable. And then you collect that to become cash. So we take out inventory and try to measure that ratio as well. So for Home Depot, 2017, we had... Uh, $12.7 billion in uh, a merchandise inventory. And in 2016, we had $12.5 billion. Those two numbers will subtract from the total current assets and then do the calculation again. Then after the calculation, here's how the, here's how the numbers are gonna look like. Now you'll notice that the quick ratio for Home Depot in 2017 it's better than 2016. Why? Okay, a higher ratio is better, of course. It's good, right? But then every time you see a change, you have to find out what drove that. But obviously, the only thing that we remember that we took out of, of uh, the current answer was inventory. Then the explanation is around the inventory. It basically means in 2017, the inventory amount was a smaller percentage of your total assets compared to 2016. In fact, I already did a little bit of some calculations here. In 2017, your inventory uh, were your inventory uh, there were 67 percent of the total current assets in 2017. While as in 2016, your inventory were 71% of your total uh, current assets. So that's what drove your numbers that your current, uh, your, your, your quick ratio in 2017 was much better than in 2016. Next is the summary of what we just looked at. Your current ratio, 2016 and 2017. And we have looked at what may have driven those numbers, the 2017 number to be a little lower. And then uh, the quick ratio, we've also calculated that after subtracting your inventory. And we've also looked at what could have led to your inventory, your quick ratio to be slightly, uh, to have improved slightly for 2017. Overall, these numbers look, look good. 
um, for your current ratio, as long as you have numbers that are above one, that means you have more current assets than current liabilities. Okay, and then the quick ratio, um, for the most part, we compare those to the industry ratio. Okay, and next, we're going to try to now go into um, trying to compare the quick ratios or the current ratios or liquidity ratios for Home Depot to its competitor laws. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the same ratios for laws and then compare to those of uh, Home Depot. Now, what I did again, I looked at the asset side of Lowe's balance sheet for 2016 and 2017. And then look at the current assets for this company. Um, Lowe's in 2017 had $68 billion of revenue. Okay, so it's not a small company. Okay, so, so it, it, it's a big company and it's, it's a profitable company. Um, but then look at the current assets, slightly lower than, um, than Home Depot, okay? For 2016, Lowe's has $12 billion. And in 2017, had $12.7 billion. Those are the numbers that we got to use. And then the, the liability side, again, just a section um, from the balance sheet that has the current liabilities, that's the one that I got. And then you can see that we'll be using $11.9 billion for 2016, and we we'll use $12.096 billion for 2017 as the current liabilities. Then after we do our calculations, here are the current ratios as well as the quick ratios for, for laws. Now clearly you can see that laws, current ratios, are slightly lower than, or they are lower than Home Depot for sure. Home Depot um, for 2017 had 1.17, and then for 2016 had 1.25. So clearly you can see that Home Depot has more current liabilities um, as the current liabilities compared to uh, current liabilities uh, in, you know, in comparison to its assets in the measuring of its liquidity. So if we had to look at these two companies, would say that um, Laws has a, 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 a worse liquidity position than Home Depot. Now, as long as it's above one, okay, as long as these numbers are above one, this is still a solid company, okay? And then the next one is the quick ratios again uh, for, for Laws for 2016, it's a 1.3. And then a one one point uh, one uh, a point one one okay for sixteen it's a point one three and then for seventeen it's a point one one now if you remember uh, for Home Depot this here was a point three seven and this was a point three eight so clearly you can see that um, Home Depot has some strength even from the quick ratio standpoint. Next, let's compare the two companies and the industry ratios, okay? And um, when we compare the companies to the industry ratios, the data from the industry, you can find that at, um, um, at csimarket.com. You know, as long as you know the ticker of the company, you can pull that data. And uh, I did that, so so you can see the current ratios. Home Depot definitely looks better uh, than Lowe's, but for 2017, Home Depot is not better than the industry either. Okay, so uh, for 2017, Home Depot has 1.17, Lowe's has a, a 1.06. The industry average is 1.23. So, across the industry in the United States, there are other companies in the same industry, the home improvement industry, that are much, much better than Home Depot, much, much better than Lowe's, right? And then when we look at the quick ratio side, also what we call the acid test, Home Depot definitely looks much stronger, okay? 
in 16 it was a 3.7 in 17 in 2017 it was a 3.8 compared to uh lows even compared to the industry so from the quick ratio standpoint uh home depot is much much stronger than even the industry average now i hope this gives you uh the skill set that you didn't have. And if you had the skill set, it just gave you a refresh on, uh, on, on what you already knew. And uh, the next session that we'll be looking at will be asset management ratio. And in here, we'll be measuring how a company is using its assets to generate revenue for the company. And please, as always, subscribe, like, share, and please, Give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much.